So pride is the title of this workshop. There was, I don't know if you noticed, but the entire last month was dedicated to pride. So pride for who we love and our gender overcomes homophobia, queerphobia, cissexism, like I was talking about. So just like those things can be overcome with pride, age pride can actually overcome ageism. So oftentimes when people ask us how old we are, we respond with our age at that given moment. So this can actually be problematic because we live in an ageist society that has a lot of ideas around what different ages mean. So when we hear someone's age, we easily stereotype them based on it. So it's also problematic because every year our age changes. So sometimes I have a really hard time like remembering the age of my parents or my sister or you know my love any of my loved ones, my partner. And so for example, I'm 33, right? So holding 33 as part of my identity doesn't really make sense. I've only been 33 for less than a month, actually. So I don't have that much direct experience related to my 33rd year. I actually don't have that much experience directly related to my 32nd year, and I just finished a whole year of being 32. So I'm actually no different than I was a month ago, not much different than I was a month ago when I was 32. So my identity hasn't really changed at all. However, a lot of my identity has to do with the fact that I was born in 1988. So that tells you that I was born at the height of the AIDS epidemic and the Cold War. I came of age immediately post 9-11 and I entered the workforce during a recession. So telling you I was born in 1988 reveals a lot about me. 33 is pretty ephemeral, it's gonna change next year. And it really only gives people a chance to buy it. So I've decided to start answering the question, how old are you, by giving my birth year, happily and proudly. So if you want, you can start responding that way too and, and, and tell people your birth year instead of your age. And it's also a really good way to remember how old your loved ones are because it's much easier to remember one year for the rest of your life than a different age that will change every year. 